The Prussians are going to be able to break that trend in a series of three wars against the Danes, the Austrians, and the French. The Department of Military History is one of the five teaching departments in the Command and General Staff College. We have uh, 40 instructors, which makes us one of the larger military history departments in the United States. Uh, 27 of those have terminal degrees, and a large number of the rest of the individuals without terminal degrees are currently working on their PhDs. Our mission is to provide military history instruction in accordance with joint professional military education objectives to prepare our, our students, which are majors, uh, in the, their 10th to 14th year of service for service after graduation in the next 10 years of their career. The purpose of our instruction is to promote a historical consciousness that will inform their creative thinking and their problem solving skills. We're considered the intellectual center of the Army. The idea is not only that we are presenting information to students and ideas and perspectives, but we are also actively engaged in the dialogue with our discipline, the history, historical discipline, and what's going on in the Army as well. We're engaged in that dialogue, and that enables us to communicate to our students. Now, it's not your dominance. I'm not going to use that term. We teach three different history blocks. We teach H100, H200, and H300. Each of those blocks covers a series of lessons uh, in certain periods of military history. H100 block introduces students to different theorists to give them a theoretical foundation for what they're doing. It also examines the social, political, and economic conditions that help create what we typically refer to as a Western way of war. The H200 block allows students to uh, examine and to assess adaptation in military organizations, uh, something that they're facing now as the United States military adapts very quickly uh, to a threat that also adapts very quickly. In H300, students will examine more modern warfare in terms of, say, Vietnam or Maoist theory, you know, the counterinsurgency warfare that is so important to them today. And it gives them a historical foundation for how to assess and to meet the threat that they are currently facing. There are two awards available to students here at CGSC that the History Department awards. One is the Father Donald Smythe Award and that goes to the outstanding student in each class. That's a combination of uh, the performance in class participation and the papers they write. Second award is available to students who do a master's thesis for our Master of Military Arts and Science program, and that's the Arthur Darby Award, and that recognizes the outstanding thesis written by a student in each academic class. We take officers out to the battlefield and they learn lessons and apply modern day lessons to how they would do if they were in those kinds of leadership positions, and then they have classes that, that run from conventional operations to, to nation building. So I mean the, the modern U.S. officer, he or she has to do a wide variety of things and they're not always trained exactly for them and history helps them to prepare for situations they probably haven't seen before. Most of the situations that we encounter today, if we analyze them very well, we find similarities with some other situations that happen way behind and that, uh, that's uh, something that the history faculty has been able to bring up with the curriculum that they are teaching to us in the school. By training I'm a scientist, by profession I'm a logistician, so history does not fall into that naturally. So studying here was the first time I got to have some historical context with some great thinkers and tacticians and uh, people who really paved some pathways to apply those in more of an objective and strategic framework brought up questions that I didn't know existed before the curriculum. That includes how, how to innovate, how the different societal uh, factors impact the military and how the military impacts them and the trade-offs between them, um, and then our organization as a whole. We also want to engage the larger pu the public in what we're doing. This is reflected in our 55 engagements. These have included programs with universities, both local and elsewhere. We've also presented numerous papers to uh, history conferences and engaged that way. In terms of scholarship, in the last year we published two books. There were some 23 essays which were published either as articles or book chapters. In addition, over 100 uh, entries and reference works were produced by the department. We are also engaged in the process of uh, developing ideas, interacting with the historical profession, the professional military, 
and that enriches our ability to work with our students at the Staff College.